We're both excited, and it's an opportunity that doesn't come too many times in, in a <laughs> lifetime, honestly. And, and to represent Canada and, and the lofters yep. in and of itself mm -hmm. is an honor. It's an honor Thank just you. to go. What are you going to wear while you watch it? Okay. Just a bit. Um, okay. I'd like to meet Gordy from the hip. I don't know if he's going to be down, be there or not. They never come. They never you, big shooter? Um, just the obvious ones. Who are? It's like Finger Eleven and and Kitty for sure. Mm -hmm. What about like girl wise? No. Obviously, Kitty are girls, but right. In Nelly? Specifically, no. No. We're almost there. <laughs> Well, there's a cocktail party going on pre-show oh. that somebody gets to go to. Is there anybody here tonight that you're hoping to talk to? Anyone that's nominated? Uh, Neil Young. Yeah. He's the best kisser in the world. <laughs> do you know firsthand? I do. First lip. I'm actually having a great time. It's, it's, it's media hungry here. And um, I can't get off the top. They just said that they're not going to show. They're having Kitty be on the pre-show. Like, their award for best new group. And it's pissing me off. I think that there's a lot of artists right now that are making song music. That's right. what I call yeah. it. It's Hits. great songs, and yeah. you know, Sarah Harmer is... I went and saw Sarah last night. Unbelievable! The... Sarah Harmer rocks! We have the Hamilton Girl Guides, Girl Scouts uh, telling us where to go. It's down the, the hall right here. Thank you so much. I don't know what we'd do without them. Hi, we're live in the loft. I mean, the cops call us in. Backstage. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is the media room. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. It's like a whole lineup of cameras. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk right in front of all the cameras when someone important comes out, just to cause some ruckus. Kim's doing his best to try and get kicked out of the Junos in year 2001. Finally, 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 Chris Shepard in the house. How's it going? Good. I love your show. I catch Thank it all you. the time, man. Yeah, it's good. Jennifer. Yeah, nice to yeah, see you. Kayla, Pretty girl. See you yeah. Well. Nice to see you guys. I was guys. looking forward to seeing what styles you're gonna pull out here tonight. Yeah, something a little retro but still current from. Uh, you know, Joseph Very cool. in uh, London on Sloan Street, up to, uh, on the high streets of London, and Terry Moogler. And All the hip-hop cats say keep it real. Yeah. So for some guys, they're just jokers, you know what I mean? Eminem, Eminem he's a joker. Yeah. He walks into a room, he just wants to make people fall down and piss themselves. That's his personality. My personality, I, I'm, you know, I am a little more of a thinker, and I do brood over things, and I can't help it. You know, I break up with somebody, I brood over it, I'm a mess for a while, and I know other people are too, and I just put those emotions into my music because that's real for me and other folks you know they they have their story hey sandy. we want to say hi sandy sandy i love you we miss you i love, love you I, love I am in love with sandy no i love sandy no, i love sandy. I love sandy. I love sandy. what about me what about me what about me <laughs> just kidding Jeff, guys have no. a good night oh we've been going out for a while so sweet. do 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 Doody doody in the booty. Going groovy. Hi, I'm Jennifer from YouTube. Nice to meet you. How's it going? See, they, they like the girls. They got. Uh, That's why we have the girls. Go. Moffat's on this side, B44 on that side. It's very cool. What the hell is it like being on stage and seeing all those thousands of girls just dying for you? Uh. <laughs> you know what? We walk on stage and we do our job. You know, I don't, I don't go out there and go. I don't emphasize the fact that there's a bunch of teenage girls out there or I see five guys that are rocking to our music, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't really care. It's like people are there to see, our, see us make music, see us entertain, and I think it's great, you know, they're, they're getting a great show. The people that show up, we're filling a niche. I mean, in sync, go back, like, we used to go to school together. So we'll get together for drinks after, it's okay. It's not for the faint of heart to be traveling around for years at a time. I'm telling you, it takes its toll. It's it's very fun, it's glamorous, but it's you spend a lot of time just falling in the bathroom because you're down to your last tampon and you're somewhere in Italy where you really don't know how to ask for it. And you end up getting a pound of butter. I've seen you half a dozen times. You crack me up every single show. Well, I don't know, having brothers maybe, yeah. but uh, I, I think you have to be able to take yourself with a grain of salt in all of this. Mm -hmm. It's really easy to start believing that you're really fantastic, and yeah. um, but it's I have really great friends. Better. I like to laugh. Yeah. I probably prefer making people laugh as to making them feel morose or sad or something. I'm giving myself some time off right now, and uh, the last time I went on sabbatical, it was 10 years ago, so 
figure I'm due for one. Good stuff. All right. Um, going back to your website, which is fantastic, uh, you write in your little diary that you believe in music that matters. And how do you think music matters, or what sort of music matters to you? Um, music that matters. I think that I'm really drawn to music that comes from the heart and soul. I think you can hear when something feels real. I think the main element is people have to be really passionate about what they're recording and singing and what they're doing. It wasn't what I expected, I think, maybe. I, you know, I did't know what to expect, but it was, it was, it was totally, it was hyped up, mm -hmm. and, and pff, we got to like get all dressed up. I mean, duh. It was, I think it was a different experience for me because the artists here are like artists that I love. Like talking to Jan Arden for me was incredible because I've grown up listening to her and I love her. And I just, yeah, it was just so cool for me to see all these artists. It was probably different if it was your, more your kind of music. Oh no, totally, that's, that's one thing I think I kind of missed out on because I mean, Obviously, if my bands won and I got to yeah. talk to them, I would have the same feeling. I would have like. And I was kind of bummed that Sarah Harmer didn't get down here because I really want to talk to her. Saw but her last night, yeah, yeah, I watched her last night. So, all in all, I'd come back if they had me.